Hello, today I'll be demonstrating how to create a rotary servo motor file for the Compax3 using the C3 Servo Manager software. The C3 Servo Manager software has libraries for most standard Parker motors. This process can be used for any custom rotary motors or for machines with existing non-Parker motors where the Compax3 is now being integrated. The software makes it easy to do this, but there are lots of steps involved, so this video will help explain the steps and options. I'll assume that you have the Compax 3's 24 volts control powered on as well as the AC power. The Compax 3S and the Compax 3M's safe torque off enable inputs are powered. The motor and optional brake is connected to the X3 and the feedback to the X13 connectors. We'll be controlling it through the software so the inputs and the outputs on the X11 and the X12 and optional X22 connectors do not need to be wired at this time. For a custom motor file, it would be best if it is not connected to the load. The automatic setting of commutation parameters will detect the feedback angle, and frictional and large inertial loads could cause problems, so if you can disconnect it from the motor, that would be best. It'll just spin the motor, so if you want to disconnect the coupling and load from the motor shaft and or put the motor on the floor, it won't be doing any high speeds or accelerations. It would only do this with a bad feedback cable and most likely would trip on a feedback fault, but in the event, keep anyone away from the motor. First, go to Options RS-232-45 COM port settings. You can see which COM ports are available. You may need to go into your PC's device manager to see which port you are connected to. Click OK. Then in the main screen, click on the Open Close COM port icon. You should see in the status bar the port open. You can verify on the top left under Device Selection, Online Device Identification. If you double click on here, or you can single click on the right click to begin Hardware Auto Detect. This will connect to the drive and show the device type, what the Compax 3 is configured as, the firmware release number, controller board, and hardware level. If you need the existing drive configuration, we'll be overwriting it today, so upload and save the drive configuration. You can do this with the upload icon on the toolbar. Then create a new one by File, New. Second, go into Edit, Start C3 Motor Manager, or on the toolbar, click on the motor icon. The motor manager has two main parts, the motor library, which has all the predefined Parker motors, and then the edit motor library section down below where you can create non-Parker motor files and manage your existing motor files. These are divided by both rotary and linear motors. Then those are further categories based on the feedback type. Resolver, Syncos, which is Stegman Hyperface Encoders, Indat, which are Heidenhain Absolute Encoders, and then also the Incremental Encoders. Then based on Parker Europe or Parker US. Down below you have Edit Motor Library. You can create your own rotary motor file or linear servo motor file. You'll need the full specifications of the servo motor to create these files. Custom rotary servo motor part numbers are different formats depending on the age and the standard motor it is based on. Let's take a look at the motor part numbering 